how to create gradient circles in GIMP. First thing to do, create a layer. So layer menu and new layer. Click OK. Then go over to the marquee tool, elliptical marquee tool, and create a circular selection. Hold down the shift to create it as a circle. Then go to the gradient tool. Now I'm using a blend mode of normal. I'm using the top entry for the blend color space. For shape, I'm using radial. There's a number of options. There's radial. And for the repeat, I'm using triangular wave. I like that one. It's a good repeat. Go approximately to the center and then just drag out very, very slightly. Now you can vary it. If you go closer and closer, you see you get more of those rings appearing or repeats appearing. Also, I'm using adaptive super sampling set on. Now, with the gradient panel there, go to the end point and you can change the color. So, change the color maybe to a lighter color. And you also can click on the start point. And as soon as you do that, you'll see that the panel changes to start endpoint. And you can change the color maybe to green, blue, whatever you want. Once you're happy with your color scheme, click OK and close the panel. What you can now do, you can go to the layer menu and go down to crop to selection. Select and then none. Now go to the move tool. And then you can, of course, move it around. But you can also go to the, over to the layers panel and you can click the duplicate just down there. And you can then duplicate again. And again, go there. You can also do the same in the layer menu. But it's probably quicker just to go down to the bottom and click that duplicate. And you can build up a very complex display across your image. And of course, what you can also do with a layer selected, you can always go and apply a filter. So filters menu, maybe go for distort. Maybe something like waves. You can modify the aspect ratio, amplitude, period, center position, etc and create some really interesting wave designs. Phase, as well as aspect, and many, many more. You can just create a whole range of different designs from that very basic gradient. Click OK. And of course, what you can do, you can duplicate that. So you can fill the screen with that design now. But you can also go to the Colors menu, Maybe go to, go down to colorize, but there's a whole range of other ones. And you can just colorize it to maybe blue, green, whatever you want. And you can of course change the hue by just dragging that slider. So if you want a green design, just drag it. Click okay. And you can repeat that of course, duplicate that design and then recolor that if you wish. And you can move that and also you can duplicate that as well. Also, what you can do, of course, you can create a new layer. And of course, just go back again to the there, the ellipse and select. Drag. And once you've done that, what you can do, you can fill it with a gradient. And of course, you don't have to fill it with the same gradient. Could, of course. Maybe you could vary the number of repeats. Just by increasing the length, so you can just drag it out a bit further, you get less. And also you can modify the gradient as well. You can see you can modify the midpoint as well. You may or may not wish to do that. And you can always reposition the midpoint if you wish. And of course, you can also, when you click on the endpoint, you can go and change the color and go to the panel at the top, the end endpoint, slight odd, odd way of saying it, but an end endpoint, 
and change the color of that as well. And also what you can do, you can go to layer menu and crop to selection again. And of course, remember to deselect. So select menu and none. And of course, what you can do, you can go to your filters, maybe apply it, different ones, maybe distort, maybe wave, maybe a lens flare, a drop shadow via the light and shadow. And you can modify the X and Y settings. You also modify the blur radius, the color as well. To create a nice drop shadow. You can change X and Y. But opacity to make it a bit clearer because I think it's quite uh, low. Let's increase that a bit. Once you've done that, click OK. And of course, what you can do, you can then duplicate that again via the layers panel. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, GIMP, Illustrator, Affinity Photo, and many others. Please add some comments, always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.